Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Let's talk about Josh Hawley. This is Senator Josh Hawley. Senator Josh Hawley represents the state of Missouri. And from what I hear, he doesn't even live in the proper district. Senator Josh Hawley's Senate seat is up for re-election in November. This is his opponent, Lucas Kuntz. And there's a state fair happening in Missouri. And both of the candidates were in attendance. And Josh Hawley thought that it would be in his best interest to confront his opponent at the state fair. Here's a breakdown of what went on. But I gotta say, maybe his internal polling is telling him something different because he is acting like a guy who is in a neck and neck race and frankly desperate. This was Hawley pulling the kind of thirsty stunt at the Missouri State Fair yesterday that the candidate getting crushed usually tries to kind of get some attention, get back in the race. He had a camera follow him as he kind of hunted down Coons and then demanded Coons to beat him right then and there, even though Coons has agreed to five debates already. Let's go find Lucas Coons. Let's go find him. your screen, Lucas Kuntz, who is the Democratic candidate for Senate in Missouri. Um, I have to say, I saw the headline and I saw the picture, and I will be honest, I thought you had gone to do that to Josh Hawley, because in my head I was thinking, well, you know, he he's the incumbent, and he's probably favored in this race, and so you're trying to do... I was pretty shocked it was the other way around. Do you understand what's happening here? know exactly what's happening i mean the man is scared because he knows the missourians hate him they, he knows that we don't want the things that he wants which is to take away no fault divorce contraception in vitro fertilization no abortion access for rape and incest it's just i'm sorry dude but that's not what everyday people want and uh, you know the craziest thing about this is that last year at the exact same event at the state fair i went up to say hi to him and he pulled your typical josh holly right his classic move which was skittering away as fast as he could uh, you know, I guess in the interim, he must have boned up on a few chapters of his manhood book because, yeah, he came to play this year all mic'd up, camera crew behind him, and just, you know, yapping up in my face for, I don't know, probably five minutes. Um, you just mentioned uh, IVF, contraception, and, and abortion, and, and I should note that you are one of the, the, the several states that are going to have a, a ballot initiative on abortion. Um, the initiative has not been certified, but, but it looks like it's going to clear. Um, and right now, the, the, the polling on that shows 44% support of restoring abortion rights in your state, 37% opposed. Holly on this seems pretty clear. How much do you think this will be a factor in the race? Oh, this is everything. Uh, it's not just this, but this is going to be huge for us. People are excited to take their rights back from controlling politicians like him. I mean, he wants to control us in the bedroom, in the doctor's office, in the, work, in the workplace. Like, the last thing that Missourians want is to be controlled. They want a senator who will bring money home and protect their rights so that we can just make our own decisions rather than being told how to live. This guy brings no money back, and he wants to take away all our rights, which, again, it's why he's scared. It's why he's doing these stunts, and it's why he spent a million dollars in lying attack ads against me already. Like, came out of the gate, didn't say a thing about himself, million dollars of just, like, complete lie attack ads because he is absolutely scared. And, you know, if anyone wants to help us fight back against that, LucasKuntz.com is definitely... Now, what that clip doesn't show with Chris Hayes and Lucas Kuntz is a viral clip of Josh Hawley and Lucas Kuntz at the state fair. It's not long. It's a small clip, but it's powerful. <laughs> All the theatrics that Josh Hawley had 
and that man was able to say that to his face in front of his camera crew on his microphone. <laughs> when I think about it, I'm not shocked that Josh Holly punked out because after he walked in front of the Capitol with his fist raised to incite and amp up the rioters on January 6th, once they infiltrated the Capitol, this was Josh Hawley. Yep. Once they infiltrated the Capitol, Josh Hawley was running, running, running for his life. Yeah, after he, inc he incited them and amped them up, he was running from them. Anywho, I want to leave you with this very important information because you see Josh Hawley is not working alone in trying to roll back rights. No, this is Josh Hawley and his wife. His wife's name is Erin Holly. Mm-hmm. Erin Holly, wife to Josh Holly, Senator Josh Holly, is a powerful attorney. And she currently works with an organization called the Alliance Defending Freedom, the ADF. The Alliance Defending Freedom was founded three decades ago. And it was a legal, it was founded as a legal defense fund for conservative Christians and fighting for Christian causes. The powerful attorneys that work for the Alliance Defending Freedom, they've had 14 victories, Supreme Court victories in the last decade or so, which includes the overturning of Roe v. Wade. And Josh Hawley's wife was one of those attorneys that specifically worked on getting Roe v. Wade overturned. The Alliance Defending Freedom also worked to allow employer-sponsored health insurance to exclude birth control. Think Hobby Lobby. Remember when Hobby Lobby filed suit against Obamacare because they didn't want to provide birth control to their employees and that case went all the way up to the Supreme Court. Yeah, the Alliance Defending Freedom, Josh Hawley's wife, Erin Hawley, yeah, they were, they were working with that. The Alliance Defending Freedom also worked to block pandemic-related public health rules. They worked to establish the right of the baker. Remember the baker that filed suit that went all the way up to the Supreme Court because she wanted to refuse making a cake for a same-sex wedding? Yeah, Josh Hawley and her organization, Alliance Defending Freedom, they were behind all of that. A little bit more about Erin Hawley, wife to Senator Josh Hawley. She's a Yale Law graduate. She also clerked for Justice, um, Chief Justice John Roberts. She also was an advisor to the Attorney General under President George W. Bush. And like I said, she also worked on the team that worked to get Roe v. Wade overturned. So for those of you who are in Missouri and are in Josh Hawley's district, I want to remind you of who his wife is and together as a team, what they're doing to take away rights from you. I also want to remind you that Josh Hawley, after inciting a racist mob, he ran. He's a coward. And after attempting a failed stunt in running down or chasing down his challenger, Lucas Kuntz. Lucas Kuntz handed Josh Hawley his ass. Happy Saturday.